Hi guys, this is Bubba the Vulture, and it's time for one more Let's Play Fallout 3. Um, I hadn't necessarily intended this to be a thing that would happen, but uh, it's just sort of started to become a routine for me. I'll record maybe one of these at night. I've um, been finding lately that uh, I sleep a lot better if I make sure I'm good and tired out before I go to bed, so I end up staying up a little late and recording a video at night of Fallout 3. So you also get me at my loopiest. I'm not really Lukey, folks. Lukey. <coughs> DC Transit Authority. Wamada. The Washington. Yeah. Wamada, Northwest Seneca Metro. So what am I armed with? I'm. Well, it's got five shots, so it's going to be my hunting rifle. That's right. Turn on lights so that we can keep an eye out for traps. Because nobody wants to be ensnared in a trap. Hey, these guys are our friends. Oh, there are enemies in here. Hey! I'm going to go meet my new friends. Oh! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Go get him! Bring it! steal my secrets, are you? Secrets? Sure, I'm here for everything you get. Hand it over, zombie. That's not nice. Um. <clears throat> steal your secrets? No, no, I don't know. What secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Oh no. Ultra Jet? That's some sort of super cam? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Um, no way, I'm not helping me make cams. Uh, well. Ordinarily, I wouldn't help him make cams, but in this post-apocalyptic world, what does it really matter? What do you need? I'll find It takes out. three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Mm. Make 30 casts and you got a deal. Nope. It's 15 each. You want to do it or what? All right, I'm in. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. There's there's no reason to not uh, say that you'll do it. I mean... Not that 15... Uh, Sugar bombs per. You looking for a problem? Uh, no. Are you looking for something? So yeah, it's an odd array of things here. Some of which will not get me in trouble for looking through, and some of which will. Like this bed, it's an owned bed. I can't sleep in it. This red X, though, I could totally take. And this mine box, I can take those mines.
But if I want the first, that and we're gonna have a problem. But if I want the first aid kit that's right there, or to steal the nuke coal is in this individual room. See this? No, I don't really want any of those things, anyways. Paint guns may have some purpose, but meh. Okay, so that's where the uh, that's where the magic happens. See you, Walter. See you, Jesse. Well, those two seem like friendly sorts. Take your meat anyway. Alright, vending machine. Seem to be getting irradiated hanging out over there. So let's not linger. Do any sugar bombs in this vending machine? Insta mash and pork and beans. You know, on one hand, it would be nice to be able to find some uh, sugar bombs right here to, uh, you know, give a good example of how we can help that guy in his quest. But, that said, it would also be uh, a bit silly that they wouldn't have looked there already. So there is that. <coughs> so that's a little bit of an irradiated pathway, and here's the women's room. No women in this restroom at the time of the explosion, although somebody left a teddy bear inside one of the toilets. Why would you do that, ladies? Why did you do that? Oh, I was a water fountain right there. Well, don't I feel a bit silly now? Yes, a bit. But I'll get over it. Oh, wait a second, what am I missing here? Northwest Seneca Metro Station seems mostly co closed off. Oh, there's a service tunnel in here I missed. Okay. And whatever's going on down here, it's all red-tastic. There's your rotting Brahmin corpse. Ah! Yes, I'm ah! not happy to have found you either. Um, let's get our items out. There's no reason to ever use the shot-off shotgun. Let's use our Chinese assault rifle. To hey, let's use... Hey, you know what? Just kill me. There you go. Take your best shot there, pal. Now then. 
let's be a little bit more strategic with uh, the way that we go about this business next time. Next time being this time. Wait for him to turn around and peg him in the face. Didn't go as well as I might have hoped. Get the feeling this will be another one up ahead. Yes, folks, I know I'm very nearly dead. Just want to see whether or not we can actually see our enemy first. I'm confused by this Meyer Lurk fused in the rock, but I'm going to go about my business. So is the idea that the family lives in here? With uh, milk bottles and stuff? I guess there was a mine or something there, huh? It sure did, uh... Sure did make a meal out of my face, didn't it? Got the old assault rifle out. Not my best weapon in terms of accuracy, but uh, it'll put a hole in a bad guy. Much better job that time around. <coughs> Getting the sneak attack critical, probably pretty helpful. Now that is this other Marler also still going to be stuck in the rock. So it would seem. Okay then. In that case, I'm going to traverse ahead, 
going to try and be careful about it. So much for being adequately careful. Perhaps next time I get there, I should uh, figure out what the heck that is that's you know, killing me every time, and then do something about it. Take uh, take positive action at a grassroots level. Just cuffs in there. Why am I not using stim packs? Because I feel like I should be able to get past one guy, one Meyer Lurk, with full health before I have to start resorting to stim packs. I have good sneak skill. This will be the one time this guy doesn't malfunction. Oh, it is the one time he doesn't malfunction. But he apparently still can't move. I'll just stay over here. I get far enough away that uh, I'm no longer under caution because I don't believe. Well, can you save while you're under caution? I guess you can. Well, in that case, fine. Here's our little trap right here. Let's disarm that. Oh, 
was a nasty little thing to have set up, wasn't it? Guess I missed another one. Things are subtle. That Mara Lurk is empty already, robbed of its meat. Alright. <clears throat> I've gotten as far as this. Take some Dagon stim packs. Um, after I eat all the meat that I have on me. That stuff is good. Actually, Mirelurk meat is uh, very good. Gonna be perpetually racing under caution flag conditions from here on out. Oh. <sighs> Can't for the life of me see these traps. Well, there's one. Let's disarm this bear trap. And get a little bit of experience for it. And I'm back to being hidden. All right. Now that said, we certainly have uh, made our way through some horrors to reach whatever is down this hallway. It's a spooky hallway, guys. Tripped another tripwire. Sucks to be me. And here I was just wanting to see what was out here. Mm, there's a bear trap to be disarmed. Any other trick traps along this way? We're almost to the exit. Low landmine. I feel like whatever is out here is not going to be we're supposed to go, we're supposed to go farther inside. But... That's okay. I felt like having a new travel point on the world map. Oh, it's the Morastic Train Yard, you can get there from here. Which I guess I already had, I just hadn't gone into it. Well, neat. This shows you the direction we've traveled. It's very exciting, and by very exciting I mean not all that exciting. But we'll get back into more excitement maybe another time. After we drop down a quick save. Getting very near the looping over to... yeah. I don't know why, looping over to 100 saves since I started resetting whatever, yeah. <laughs> it, it's not worth explaining the uh, technique 
I am using or the method I'm using for figuring out what games to save on whatever um, apparently I have a turning point very early on in the story maybe it was the point at which I could determine whether to blow up Megaton or not I forget either way though folks this is Bill of the Vultures this has been Let's Play Fallout 3 I want to thank you guys very much for watching and hope to see you all next time bye bye now